And you're bringing to life something that's never been heard before, never been seen before. Conducting a new piece, a world premiere, is always full of exploration. One can't escape the fact that we are dealing with a dark subject matter, so there is, throughout the score, a sense of of trepidation, but there are moments of tenderness and there are moments of, of warmth and even levity because in the darkest of circumstances, we, we all try and hook ourselves onto something, something lighter, something more tender, and I think you'll see that in the piece too, and that's reflected in the score. I deliberately chose to score the instrument, the cimbalum. And that has a very antique, brooding, dark sound, which I think will be a point of interest within the score. No notes are there for the sake of being there. Every note has its place and its meaning, and that is very rare in a composer. One of the first things that Ian and I decided was that we should not have a Jack the Ripper character in it. We wanted to create this idea that it was society and London which almost consumes people, like a personification, if you like, of, of an energy, a force that is unseen. You can't touch it, you can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't fight it. And it's that that consumes the women. Being able to have a world premiere at the climax of my first season, it focuses on the lives of the women and not the mystery of the Ripper himself, uh, felt like the best statement to end on and how could I not direct that.